warning. Meteorite wave on collision course. 99% collision probability. My son's rings, where are they? Captain, I cannot abort the countdown. You must get out now. Good evening, gentlemen. Stephen Hawking, one of the world's greatest ever scientists, once said, I fear for our future. There is always a chance of an asteroid hitting Earth. We need to anticipate these disasters and have a plan B. Our only chance of long-term survival is not to remain inward-looking on planet Earth, but to spread out into space. To minimize these risks, we need to colonize exoplanets in other star systems to ensure our long-term survival. As you know, there are approximately a thousand stars within 30 light years of Earth. We have several confirmed habitable worlds in their Goldilocks zones. Now comes the problem, interstellar travel. There are no fancy things like stable wormholes, hyperdrives, warp bubbles, gravitational drives, or other wishful technologies. That is science fiction. The fact is that SLT is slower than light speed. This increases flight times to hundreds, thousands of years. Let me illustrate. Let's take a Gliese 667cc, distance 22 light years. Assuming we can build a ship that can reach a 5% of light speed velocity, we require approximately 400 years to get there. Now comes the real problem, human lifespan. Best expectations, 160 years with modern medicine. This is a shortfall of 240 years. A generational ship is a theoretical possibility, but all calculations show negative results. War, terrorism, genetic decline, religious fanaticism, disease. The longer the journey, the greater the risk. There is only one solution. We have to delete the human lifespan in this equation. We don't take any humans on the journey. Consequently, time has no meaning. We can go anywhere we want. We have started bioprinting, specifically human organs. I have successfully 3D printed a kidney and it works. But how do we do this? Digital DNA is the source. All we do is add some natural components. We are very close to printing the first adult human. For decades, we've been trying to create artificial humans. All attempts have failed. Until now, I have developed a new and more stable printing method. Lifespans? Where's your data? Show us test it's results. still early days. Now we require resources to produce the first prototype. This is where you come in. Imagine the possibilities. Now, this all sounds like hokum to me. Assuming you're able to print children, who's going to raise them? And do they even have a soul? AIs in the form of robo nannies will parent them and run the mission. And as to whether they have a soul, they have the DNA of humankind. What you're saying is we have to leave mankind behind. It's like sending a message in a bottle. Even if the mission is successful, you'll never know. Sadly, gentlemen, I call this winning ugly. I, for one, will not be paying for a ticket I can't use. Well, I say that didn't go too well, Henry. I wish they'd understand. By the way, my wife and I have put in for the 10-year mission to Triton. We leave in two months. I understand. Stay with it, Brannigan. I have faith in you. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Henry. Brannigan, someone has to stay behind. Who gets to play God? Or shall we simply roll a dice for the privilege? No, no, no. You must wear this. It is you can't you. seriously believe we're going to leave the boy behind. Forget it. He remains. He's not staying behind. Maybe you should stay. After all, it's your property, Mr. Space Tech CEO. A captain always goes down with his ship. Of course, 
I wasn't referring to you, Abigail. No offense. For human survival, we need the prototype. The blueprints are in my cortex. I am going. So I guess I'm staying? The company thanks you for your dedicated service. Goodbye. Just a minute. Renegan! <sighs> Don't be a fool. I build the prototype. I kill him, I become irreplaceable. Without my biometric clearance, you're going nowhere. Oh, I'm sure we can live without you. Goodbye. Oh my god. An artificial holographic intelligence. It's well programmed, but not perfect. Then what happened to him and his wife? And who is he? Ask him. Get out! Warning. Meteorite wave on collision course. Warning. The radiation is still deadly. It's doable. We have to move quickly. We are taking him with us. No way! You're down! Problem solved! Into the cargo bay! Now! Going too slow. Affirmative. Commencing slow shot maneuver. 480 feet per second. Trim looks good. But she's holding good. Stand by on the engine arm. Neptune. 50 seconds. You nearly killed us out there. I demand answers. You're still on the company's payroll. Leave him alone. You let the boy die out there. He could have made it. Captain, there are some simple facts you should realize. I don't care about a boy who can hinder my progress. For mankind to survive, we need to get to that freighter, which is headed towards Triton. Not a good idea in light of our knowledge. However you look at it, it's time you cooperate. And for your information, I didn't let that boy die. He's right there. The radiation. No increased rods. I think it must be zero G syndrome. You get over it in a couple of days. 
Mr. Chairman, I believe you asked me a question. Go ahead, Navigator, second class. Firstly, the hatch was defective. Secondly, I had no radio contact with you. So consequently, I had to let you in manually. And one more thing, I never doubted the company's authority. Evasive action. Break off now. Collision imminent. Evasive action now. Where the hell is it? Van Allen's name were you thinking of? Avoiding collision, sir. Without that ship, we are lost. You have doomed us. Horton, take over. Reset course. That's an order. I'm warning you, never undermine me again. So help me, or you'll be airlocked. Course adjusted. Targeted flyby completed. Rendezvous, three hours. 24 minutes, 8 seconds. It's time for donning. Negative. We don't need spacesuits to board. Sir, we're out of fuel. We cannot dock. T minus 4 minutes. See that? Over there? Roger that. Let's do it. Captain, I'm sorry. We're not going to make it. The future of our species remains in the hands of a few. The ship has sailed. All that will be left is mission backup 